Welcome to Stuffing Whiskey. I'm Josh. And I'm Aaron. And we're here to tell you about the five available and affordable whiskeys that get the nod from whiskey snobs. Welcome to the channel, bringing a real world perspective to the real world whiskey consumer. Today we're talking about one of our favorite topics is five available and affordable whiskeys that will get the nod from whiskey snobs. Yeah, buddy. But before we get into that, we've got to do our first sip. Mm -hmm. And this is a new segment we've started where we have a single sample pool of blind samples mm -hmm. of things that we've never tasted before at all. Ever. So not only do we not know what we're tasting, but we've never had it before. So there's no familiarity and familiarity and how, <laughs> however you say that word at all. Yeah. That way you get our honest opinions, yeah. just like in our double blind head to head. So. We're going to pour us a little bit here. I think I might have heavy poured Aaron. Here, I'll switch. She she always wants the lesser of the two. Yeah. And we are going to reserve looking at this, and we're going to give you our complete thoughts on the taste, our okay. first impressions, as it were. So, okay. cheers. Cheers. Okay, super fruity sweet. I just got like a huge whiff of alcohol, so I got to get past that. It's there, but it's just really, really fruity sweet, almost like a, like candy fruit, like an artificial fruity sweet. It definitely smells artificially sweet, but it's like so strong with the like ethanol smell. Mm -hmm. I can't get past it. Let me take a sip and then go back to the smell. Yeah. I'm just getting like a green apple and white sugar. Ooh, it tastes like a rocking chair, a tart rocking chair, a rocking chair made out of cranberries and straw. Wow. That's what it tastes like. Those are really specific notes. I'm getting that that green apple sweetness coming across on the palate, that artificial green apple candy, almost like a green apple Jolly Rancher, but then there's a caramel undertone that's pulling that sweetness down and anchoring it a little bit, and some oak behind that. One more sip. This is a rocking chair that's sitting out at the Cracker Barrel. Like this ain't your grandma's rocking chair. This is like a well-used rocking chair. Do you say the Cracker Barrel like old people? Is that what I said? Yeah. Oh, then I, the guess, Cracker I guess I do. Maybe after you go to the Cracker Barrel, you can go to the Walmart. The Walmart? And pick something up. Okay. Pick up some green apples. Okay, I will. <laughs> and maybe a rocking chair for yourself. Maybe. So what we do is we grade on a thumb system. Mm -hmm. So we go nose, flavor, experience. Where are you at? Just okay on the nose. Interesting. Thumbs up on the flavor and thumbs up on experience. Okay. I'm gonna take one more sip. I thought you cheat. were ready. I thought you were ready to go, mister. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up on the nose. It's really good. Like all the things that we said apply. Really good on the nose. Flavors, thumbs up. It's very okay. enjoyable. I like it. This is pretty good. I, yeah. I typically would like a little bit more spice in there mm. to kind of balance out the sweetness. But if I'm in the mood for something sweet, this would be a great pour. And then as far as the experience goes, thumbs up. Thumbs up across the board. All right. Happy with this pour. Wow. I would buy this, whatever it is, if I could buy it and the price were right. Ooh, okay. I would I would be happy to have a bottle of this around. Ready to find out what it is? Let's do it. Bardstown Fusion Series number five, 94.9 proof. This right. is an available product. It is. Although five is now being phased out and okay. Bardstown uh, Fusion Series six is coming to market. Okay. But I still see Bardstown Fusion Series five all over town. What's the price point? This on is it? very surprising. 60, 65 bucks. Okay. That's probably $20 more than I'd like to pay. I'd be super stoked on this at 40 bucks. I would 50, I'm gonna start balking a little bit. 60, there, there might be other things I would buy. Mm -hmm. But like Barstown Fusion series number five would be a great gift. We you know, we just did an episode talking about gifts. Yeah. This is really fruity sweet. It is. Like it's this is nothing is off putting in I here. got tart though, like tart sweet, like cranberry. Yeah. Because it just stuck to my mouth. But Fusion Series four had more spice in it. Mm. And I wouldn't necessarily recommend that one as a gift because it could be a little off putting for somebody that's a little newer to whiskey. But this one, I would absolutely buy as a gift for someone and probably honestly we'll buy a bottle of it ourselves to have around just because i like bardstown yeah retail wise 60 bucks and it is a annual yeah thing but it comes out every year yeah. and it changes a little bit how do you feel about that i mean 60 dollars. i probably wouldn't personally pay 60 dollars for this but we're not talking about that we're just talking about if it's a good price 
yeah. and good availability, so it gets a thumbs up. It is a decent price, sixty dollars isn't horrible, and if it's available, it gets a thumbs up on the retail side. I would give it thumbs up as well. Mm -hmm. It's a soft thumbs up just because of the price point yeah. and the cyclical nature of it, but. It still is a thumbs up, and I like what Bardstown is doing. Mm -hmm. Now, it's sitting on a shelf in front of you for 60 bucks. Are you actually going to buy it? I'm not. Okay. I would get something else instead. Yeah. Because I, yeah. Okay. Well, it's a thumbs up for me on consumer as well. Like, I would buy it. Yeah. So, very interesting. Yeah. I, I'm very surprised. This is, uh, to me, much better than Fusion 4, and I've heard 6 is even better than 5, so mm. I can't wait to try that one as well. All right. All right, let's get into our main topic, All talking right. about five available and affordable whiskeys that get the nod from Whiskey Snobs. All right, what are they? And this idea, first up, came from the watch world. Mm. This is something that circulates in the wristwatch world a lot, like inexpensive watches that get the nod from watch snobs. Mm, okay. Now, our caveat right off the top here is that if you're dealing with someone who's an actual snob, <laughs> like they're not a cool person and they look down their nose at inexpensive whiskey, period. Mm, just or, because it's inexpensive. Yeah, yeah. It's like the guy that has a Rolex on that is looking at a Seiko, which Seikos are cool watches. Yeah. Rolexes are really just expensive Seikos. And they're looking down their nose at a Seiko and acting like it's not a cool watch. You don't want to be friends with that guy anyways. Yeah. Just like if your guy's looking down his nose because you're not drinking you know, whatever, Pappy or Buffalo Trace Antique Collection, and he's poo-pooing on your whiskey because of that, Yeah, you don't want to be friends with that guy either. So make sure you're dealing with cool or people. Girl. Or girl. Because girls can like whiskey too. They can. Absolutely. So, and they can like watches for that matter. They can. As well. So that's our caveat mm -hmm. up front. But the whole point of this is that these are available and affordable. And honestly, if I go to a, a whiskey meetup mm -hmm. with local people and we're doing a bottle share and people bring these bottles, I'm just as excited to see them on the table and want to try them mm -hmm. as I am, you know, anything else that might be on the table that's yeah. wild and crazy. Yeah. So that was the idea behind this. Let's get right into All it. All right, let's do it. First things up, crowd favorite, Old Granddad 114. This is kind of the bottom shelf proof champion, mm -hmm. 114 proof. Yeah, for that proof. 30 bucks. Like, seriously, I don't think you can get anything that has that high of proof for that less of dollars right it is it's very <laughs> few dollars for many proofs <laughs> many proofs many many for proofs. Few dollars yes and i uh, kind of affectionately call this the nashville hot chicken of bourbon because it has a very similar experience in nashville hot chicken where it kind of just grabs your taste buds mm. and just kind of jostles them around yeah. takes them for a ride it's not refined it's not uh polished in any way there's sharp edges all over the place, but it's an experience in a mm -hmm. glass, and you just really can't get that for 30 bucks anywhere. That's true. Of note, it does have a little bit of a sour note that some people are sensitive to, and okay. some some days it doesn't hit me right because of that. Mm -hmm. But I mean, obviously it's not slowing us down too much. So <laughs> too much. Old Granddad 114 is bottle number one. Number two is anything wild turkey. Okay. Mm. And the reason why this is in here is because a lot of people don't like wild turkey or they think they don't like wild turkey because they look down and think it's you know cheap whiskey not mm -hmm. very good but the wild turkey brand almost anything that's not like the 81 proof wild turkey mm -hmm. even wild turkey 101 is great but especially when you get into the higher proof products mm -hmm. they're fantastic or any of the russell's products so we got the russell's 10 year right here 90 proof 10 years age stated 26 to 35 34 35 dollars fantastic i would rather drink this than something like eagle rare personally speaking mm -hmm. this is going to get the nod from from whiskey snobs all day long you guys know how much we like rare breed if rare you've seen breed. any videos on this channel this you know how much we like rare breed princess so if i see this at a bottle share i am super happy to see it yeah. i'm probably going to try other stuff because I've got rare breed at home. <laughs> we have a lot of it. But if I don't have rare breed at home and I haven't had it in a while or something and I saw it at a bottle share, yeah. I would get on it. And then the Russell's Reserve single barrels that are 110 proof, especially the store picks or group picks. This is a group pick and you get all your whiskey nerd information right over here. But these are going to get the nod. People are going to be so excited to see these. Yeah. And your price points here are, like I said, $30, give or take a few bucks. $50, give or take a few bucks, and $60, $65, give or take a few bucks. So people are going to be excited to see these, yep. even if they're used to drinking crazy expensive stuff. 
And if they if they're used to drinking that stuff and they've not tried wild turkey in a while, get them to try this stuff blind if you can, mm. so that there's no bias. Because that's what opened my eyes to wild turkey was blind tastings. Mm. Let's go into our next category. All right. Or our next bottle. Speaking of rare or uh, Russell store picks, the third choice is store picks period any store picks any store picks so the russells definitely is involved in this but these knob creek 120 proof single mm. barrel store picks are fantastic value for the money at 50 bucks fomo killers as i say and then maker's mark picks are some of the best this is one from our local store natural or uh, natural daily spirits mm. and we've got some of these from our local group natural bourbon social club this is natural daily spirits mm -hmm. as well fantastic fantastic products this is 50 bucks these are like 70 bucks i think and you can get a lot of variety and if i go to a bottle share i'm looking for single barrels i'm looking for store picks yeah because this is going to be different than every other one that's out there. And I want to try another single Every barrel. one is different. Yeah. So, which can't is go wrong cool. with that. Let's move on to our fourth category here. And it is going to be a new favorite of ours. Yes, sir. New Riff. Yeah. Single barrel, barrel proof products. So we've got the bourbon and the rye here. The bourbon is a group pick. So you kind of, you know, we went from the Russells into the store picks mm -hmm. and now we're kind of bleeding over here into the new roof pick. Yeah. But they ha the, the bourbon in itself, the barrels, uh, single barrels, you can right. get them all over. They're just going to be taste a little different. Right. And yeah. they, yeah, it's a regular product, even though this is a pick, there's mm -hmm. still single barrel barrel proofs out there and the rye. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've had this for a while. We just got the rye not long ago and it's already, <laughs> you know, we, we've drank almost as much as the, put, the yeah, <laughs> put quite a dent in it. And yeah. these, these things inside of our blind tasting formats are faring very well mm -hmm. against very high profile products mm -hmm. when we don't have a clue that we're drinking them. Yeah. I actually was a little bit of a whiskey snob looking down my nose at New Riff because I didn't like the bottle design. Yeah. It reminded me of like a black and tan beer situation. I didn't love it. Never gave them the time of day, just like Wild Turkey. And blind tastings really opened my eyes to how great the products are. Yep. So that's number four. Get you some New Riff yes. barrel proof single barrels. For sure. Last and certainly not least, you know we're from Nashville. You're not gonna get a, a a video from us without some Jack Daniels love if we can fit it in there. Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof Tennessee whiskey tastes a lot like bourbon. The master <laughs> distillers say that it is bourbon. They just do extra stuff to it. But this stuff is fantastic. It's going to get the nod from any whiskey snob. Mm -hmm. And if they haven't tried it because maybe they've got some type of bias against Jack Daniels, they need to try it. Yeah. So go get your bottle of this. 65 bucks or so. You can get store picks, group picks. And they do a lot of single barrel like oh, pick yeah. type things. So yeah, you can find absolutely. all kinds of variations of them everywhere. Yeah. So any of these products, if you took them to a bottle share, a group event, mm -hmm. had friends over that are into whiskey, even the nerdiest of people are going to get excited about any of these bottles. I certainly would be. And I'm about as whiskey nerd as it gets. So <laughs> I love these bottles. Yep. I love the idea of this video. I love the watch space for bringing it to us. Yes. And that's actually a great transition into our other stuff this okay. week, which is wristwatches, wristwatches that are inexpensive and available that get the nod from watch knobs. There you go. So if you're dealing with somebody that has a really nice watch on their wrist, and they can appreciate these watches, then you know you're dealing with a real watch nerd mm. like me, because I'm a real watch nerd. <laughs> so you, you can see me wearing all types of different watches, but today, other stuff, Casio. Okay. Casio is the MVP of affordable watches. I am wearing right now an A168, which is like, they have a F91W, which is like a black plastic version of this, but just, super kind of like retro cool and i know retro is coming into fashion now or whatever with kids and 90s retro style is always in fashion it's just which decade is considered retro yeah but this is more 80s style mm -hmm. and i'm gonna pull up my calculator watch this casio calculator watches are actually what got me into watches mm -hmm. back when i was a kid i yeah. mean a kid of the 80s how yeah. could you not love casio calculator watches and then g-shock which is also a casio product yeah and this is my blacked out DW5600 MS1 military spec. I absolutely love G-Shocks. I remember my grandfather got me a G-Shock for Christmas in high school. Yeah. And like, you couldn't tell me nothing. I mean, I walked into school like I own that place. 
And I bet you did. I still love G-Shocks. Yeah. And a lot of watch nerds absolutely love G-Shocks. It's not uncommon for somebody to have like a case full of like Rolexes and Audemars Piguets and Patek Philippe's and then also have six or seven G-Shocks <laughs> of different types and yeah. sizes and colors and whatever else. Yeah. They're just a ton of fun. Yeah. But we'll put the links for some of these watches down in the video description below. Check them out. You can't go wrong with Casio. And honorable mention to Seiko on the top. Mm. That would have been a really obvious one to put in here as well. Yeah. But we just had Seiko for other stuff a few episodes ago. So I'll put a link to that episode down there too. And you can hear me nerd out on Seiko there. <laughs> and if you want to nerd out more on whiskey with us, then check the video description below for a link to our Patreon. Yeah. You can join the community. You can support the channel. We've got all kinds of tiers over there for blind tasting stuff. We do two additional episodes every week. We call them Stuff and Whiskey Uncut. And They're those- A little more unrefined. Yeah, a little, little more loose. There's there's no cuts. There's no cuts, there's just no one take. It's uncut, it's unfiltered. <laughs> it's, you know, we might be in our pajamas, you never know. We definitely are in our pajamas. Yeah. <laughs> and that sounds way more salacious than it really is. Like we're just bumming and, <laughs> and having a pour at the end of the night and yeah. talking about it. So a ton of fun over there, check it out. Also be sure to check the video description below for our next live stream. Those are also a ton of fun. We do one a month. And also if you haven't given this video a thumbs up, give it a thumbs up, give yeah. it a like. What are you waiting on? Subscribe, comment, do the things. You know the drill. You've been here before. Yeah. Till next week guys. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>